Welcome back to Better Than a Pill. Today, I am so excited to have Gloria Cardona on as a guest. And Gloria is a client of mine in the Complete Well Body Method online program that I founded. And she's been doing the work now for quite some time. And I'm just so excited that she was able to come on today. And she's going to share a little bit about her experience with the program. And for those of you who don't know what that is, I created the Complete Well Body Method several years back, and it is to help women everywhere nationally and some internationally now to instill the pillars for pain-free movement into their lives. And that's not, there's like a learning curve, right? So learning those pillars and then making them habits and also improving their total well-being. So I'm super excited and welcome, Gloria. I'm so glad you're here today. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. So, you know, I know we have been working together a long time and I was kind of thinking back, you know, to the point where you began this work um, that we do in the Complete Well Body Method. And I want you to speak a little bit about, first off, the physical place you were in with what was going on with your back and and, and all of that when we first met. Okay. So um, back when we first met, That was pre-pandemia, and I was um, experiencing a lot of pain uh, due to a disc bulge in my back, and that was um, pressing a nerve and doing these horrible things to, in terms of pain in the left part of my body, my left leg and my my left foot it was really very difficult because i i was uh coming out of some other health issues and i was so eager to be back and exercising and all that and this was basically ruining my everyday life i couldn't drive i couldn't do a lot of things so so I started, I believe I was at the diet and fitness center with, uh, yeah. that's where yeah. we started. Yeah, yes. we first we first met at the Duke Medical Center and then mm-hmm. we continued this work online. And Exactly. And, yeah, and so I'll let you continue, go ahead. <laughs> yes, uh, so I was, um, I then came the pandemia and we started the work online. And, you know, this... This work that I do with Carrie has changed me profoundly. I started doing the exercises and my pain more, I wouldn't say slowly. I, it was really fast. It went away. And up to this day, I haven't had any more of this horrible pain ever. So it was wonderful. Yeah, it was so and it's it just brings me such joy to see that glory because I know <laughs> the struggles you had and you and you put it very mildly but I I know the pain and and how it's affecting you because you are a natural mover. You love to move. You're you mm-hmm. used to swim, right? So you <laughs> Yes. You, you yes, know? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, ac- yeah, actually we were in the water sometime before going online, but I still go uh, to the pool and walk and do some exercises there. I mean, I have always exercised and I always swam and all that, but I I didn't stick to to it for for a long time. After I couldn't swim because of a shoulder issue, I I I didn't stick to any any program, and I think that was one of the things that came out of this because even though I know I sometimes don't do as good of a, a job at staying um, connected with the with the program, I do it. I've been doing it for years now and and it's it's because I don't want pain to come back and also because I feel so good. I I I move around. I 
exercise every day. I walk every day. I, I'm able to do the things that I wanted to do at this time of my in my life. Um, I want to travel. You know, I travel a lot, and everywhere I go, I take it. I take the program with me. I do as much as I can. Sometimes, not as much as I should, but um, I stick to it. That's what I'm. I'm saying, and and you make it easy for me to to stick with because you teach me how to do things in bed instead of on the floor, et cetera, et cetera. And, and, you know, I, it's easy. It's very rewarding for me to, to, to know that I am on this stage that I have, that I can stick to this and, and reward myself with good health. Yeah, that's so great. It's so great to see too. And what I hear you saying is that, you know, you're at the point now, and this is my goal for everyone, where it's become a lifestyle, right? Mm-hmm. And that's and, right. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and and just like we've talked about this, Gloria, you know, myself included, is that, you know, I we it's not that we are going to do it a hundred percent perfect all the time. We're gonna mm-hmm. have things come up in our lives, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, but we get back on track and that's what I see you doing. And it's amazing. Exactly. Yeah. I think that the permission that you give, we give ourselves to not do it a hundred percent of their time is what makes us come back or stick with it because it's not that you have to, it's that you want to. It's it's relaxing. It's not that you have to do something every day, like you know, right? Do the yeah. workout. <laughs> yeah, because you and you can speak a little bit about that because it's like you know the goal of of all the work you're doing is optimal back health, foot health, neck health, shoulder health, knee health, hip health. You know that's incorporated, but in different ways, right? So there are things we're working on um, where you can have a more relaxed, calming connection to your mind and body, where you can focus on those aspects of the pillars, where it's different from a lot of different types of exercise. There's that mind body component. Um, and then, and then there's other components where you're working on your strength and in other areas as well. So it's, it's all encompassing and it's just great to see where you started and where you are now. And, and my question is, you know, since since coming in and, and doing this work, you know, you said you're you're feeling so much better and that's what motivates you, right? Mm-hmm. That's right. How has the program also affected your your mind and your relationships? Oh my goodness, in so many ways. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um I am a more relaxed person. I know my body much better than I used to my mind as well I sort of like I I talk to myself a a lot like hmm you know it's quiet up here it's not like I I was very anxious and I think I I I have an anxious mind and it has quiet down and allow me to hear myself, like like hear my mind. And you have time; you can do this. It, you know things like I I I receive these messages from myself, from my yeah. my mind. It's it's amazing, and the breathing is. The relaxing is the warm ups. I I believe that all that has it has built up to where I am now wow. in terms of, of myself. Yeah, and that's so powerful because mm-hmm. you know what you know, you have developed a um strong sense of mind body connection mm-hmm. and and, and and you're also, I love what you said about knowing your body and that's what it's all about. And that's my goal with everybody is to empower you to know your own body. Mm-hmm. You that's know? right. 
And, and that's yeah. such a gift. Yeah. I sometimes push myself or I, let's say I used to, because I don't, I, I come back now, but for example, I was trying to do the 10,000 steps as well as everything else. And I was too tired. <laughs> I didn't have time for other things that I really wanted to do. So I share that with you and you said, you don't have to do that many. It's that I give myself permission to say I'm tired. You know, I don't want to do this or what do you think? But asking you and, you know, verbalizing it is is powerful because I was the kind of person that would like, what do you mean I cannot do 10,000 steps plus everything else? You know, yeah. that was me. And now I I understand that, that why should I do that? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. That's... I'm sorry. Yeah, no, that's, that's really well said, you know, uh -huh. and it's like we get caught up in, and we've talked about this is like we should and, and all these shoulds and you know it, it boils down to mm -hmm. that level of loving ourselves and mm -hmm. the, and you know how i feel about it this body that is given to us by god right and that's mm -hmm. how i feel to take care of as mm -hmm. a steward we are here mm -hmm to, to optimally just take care of our bodies. And so what good does it do thinking that we have to, to achieve this expectation that somebody else has made a standard, um, mm -hmm. uh, when it's not serving us. Right. Exactly. And, and that's where the or, mindfulness, you know, yeah, yeah, you're doing something different. It doesn't have to be the 10,000 steps. If I went that way, I would have quit yeah. something something would have had to quit yeah and I decided that that was not it yeah so that's good and I feel as happy as doing the 10,000 or whatever <laughs> yes I know I and I and I relate to that even on the level of myself because that you know everything you share resonates with me because I do this stuff the same reason, the same reasons why you do this stuff. I don't just sit here and teach it. I live it. And so, you know, that point mm -hmm. in my life too, where the over-exercising and all that stuff just wasn't serving me. Mm -hmm. I get it. I think there's a lot of pressure in this world today that we have to, you know, do what they call. I don't even like to use the word cardio. I I hate the word cardio. I don't mm -hmm. even want to want to hear the word. It's about movement right? It just boils down to what we need to be doing is moving our bodies in a way that feels good for our bodies. And then with the pillars, we're doing those things that are going to sustain our mm -hmm. movement so that we can have that joy. Yeah, right? exactly. I have been blessed with finding you and, and finding myself through you really in terms mm -hmm. of this, because it's been a very Life changing for me, and it's affected your relationship, and like you're saying, even your relationship with your husband, and, and being able definitely. I mean, I was becoming a very angry old lady, really, yeah. a, a, against against my will, and I was battling that, but I didn't know how to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, honestly, yeah. every every time I I put out something. It came out the wrong way or because I wasn't. And now maybe something you say doesn't bother me as it used to, or or now I'm I can converse. I ha I can have a conversation. I can say, well, this is my view. It, it changed me a, a lot in terms of, of how I I relate to others. Yeah. And and that is the that is the miracle. It <laughs> comes back. It comes back. Yeah. Then others relate to you some uh, 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 the, the way you want them to be relating to you. So it's a process and um but it's it's very good. I I lo I love it. Yay. Well, I am, I'm so grateful to have you on here today and, and thank you so much for taking the time to come on here. And, you know, if, if you were to say to somebody that might be thinking like, okay, 
you know, I'm, I'm skeptical. I'm not, I'm not really sure, you know, you know, is uh-huh. this really work? Is this online? I, I don't know. What would you tell somebody that? I want people to know by my actions, not by my words, because mm-hmm. it, it, we live in a world that is too commercialized. For example, my, my brother ha- has this problems neck problems and he was telling me about it in a phone call last week and so I I tried to I didn't say it but I tried to move the conversation to how good I feel what the movements that I do are so very good and I don't know if it's gonna work but you know I that's what I do because I find it very I I find that talking sometimes doesn't do it mm-hmm. because people like to talk to fill out the the space mm-hmm. and yeah I, I, they are not really listening I don't know I I those are my my <laughs> that's how I feel. Yeah, no, that's well said. And that totally makes sense. I think that we are inundated with so, so much talking and, and what you just said just really resonates. That's, yeah. That makes, yeah. Uh, other examples is my, my, when I go to Puerto Rico and I meet uh, with friends that are more or less my same age and they have so many obstacles in their lives. And I try I try to let them know, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I think that leading by example, and and uh-huh. you're doing that. You're living the life you want. You're doing the work, and it's paid off. And I think that really says enough, right yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you know you have to let people connect the dots. Yeah. Because they always say, for example, my friends. Oh, I would love to be living your life, traveling so much and doing that. So I say, well, you know, it's because every day I do these things and and they will maybe connect the dots or not. I don't know. Hopefully they will. <laughs> yeah. And, and and I think too, it's like not in our timing, right? It's 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 um well in my belief it's God's timing not ours right and mm-hmm. so like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you know and I know I have to get out of the way a lot myself and this you know and this is what one of the reasons I do this work because um by nature I am high strung I am mm-hmm. type A I am driven so the this work really helps to ground me. Um, and so that's why I'm excited to share it. And I get to see the benefits in clients like you mm-hmm. in all levels. And so thank you so much again, just for coming on today. And you know, and a lot of our calls will say, okay, what I'm grateful for today. And I just want to say, I'm just so grateful for you and for, oh. for coming on to share today and for the work you're doing. And I'm going to turn it over to you, Gloria, and ask what you're grateful for. Well, I am grateful for f- having found you because I am grateful for my life and you are so so much of, of a part of it, Carrie, that it's uh, it's so much. Aww. It's really amazing what you do, really. Well, well, thank you. I, <laughs> I, I feel that and, and I, I feel doubly blessed and um, <laughs> And um, for those of you listening, I hope that this has has reached you. And I just want you to know that there are solutions out there. And this program I've created is accessible for women everywhere. And and I designed it so that you can do things, you can travel, and you can make this work into your life anywhere. So thank you again, Gloria. And thank you. Um, Remember, we do new episodes every week on Wednesday, and I look forward to having you join me then.